looking to buy a home, you know that mortgage rates, they're going up. If you're out there and you're in real estate and you're in mortgages and you're at a 30 year low in mortgages, just talking to a friend of mine, I'm here. He's a coach to loan officers, a mentor to realtors. Lots of real estate agents, loan officers have not even renewed their license. It's a 30 year low. Mortgage rates, thankfully, got paused in terms of interest rates a couple uh, last week because uh, Jerome Powell said, hey, inflation's starting to go down, let's put a pause in interest rates, but you don't have any control over that. So if you're looking for a career that gains and increases momentum during tough times, and we proved that during not only the recession, but also through the lockdowns and the pandemics, look no further than the life insurance industry. So I'm actually sitting here with some friends of mine. We're having joined him here today. Sweet. Andrew Gaines here, former college pastor, making a million dollars a year. We're sitting here at the MetLife Stadium. Okay, MetLife Stadium. And oftentimes people overlook the life insurance industry. Why? They look at real estate, look at Bitcoin, they look at NFTs, they look at Amazon e-commerce, they look at so many other things to make a lot of money in, but they overlook the most profitable and richest industry in the world. And that is the life insurance industry. And it, here's the sad part about the life insurance industry. Most part, it's not growing. Yet at the same time too, companies like ours, we're exploding in growth. How come? Because we're attracting a younger demographic. We're attracting a multicultural demographic. We're attracting a professional demographic, former athlete demographic, former veteran demographic, because this industry is looking for servant leaders. This industry is looking for people to continue to educate and increase the financial literacy in the citizens in the multicultural demographic. And I've been doing this now for 24 years. It's not a question whether that you can make millions of dollars in this industry. The question is, if you want to do the work, go through the grind, how many millions of dollars can you make over and over and over throughout your career? And I started doing this when I was 25 years old, 26 years old, leaving the United States Marine Corps. And people are getting involved in law enforcement. People are getting involved in firefighting and involved in, in, in postal work because that's what na natural veterans do. They're looking for careers. It's a, it's a solid job. But I say, you know what? I'm a single dad, three kids, even though I can take my GI Bill. Let me look into the industry. Let me consider doing something that I never thought I'd do before. And I got recruited into the insurance industry. Never thought I'd do this ever in my life, let alone be an entrepreneur, let alone spell the word entrepreneur. And uh, I recognize that I'd have to spend three, four, five years in college to learn a new craft to be more marketable in the insurance industry or in any industry to get a job. I've learned sales. I've learned the money game. I've learned to communicate with people and relate with people and understand people's pain because I was going through the same pain too as well. Being a single father, not having enough money paycheck to paycheck, uh, you know, having lack of recognition at my job, not being able to travel or the way I want to dress with the insurance industry provided me. And I've taken my wife and my children all across the world in this noble industry. And if you're looking at why life insurance gets looked over, if you look at companies like MetLife, now think about this too. 2016, 2017, they sold all their agents, what was remaining of their insurance agents to Mass Mutual. At one point, MetLife at its height had 15,000 plus insurance agents. And back in the day, the sitcom, the show that everybody watched on TV was a show called Father Knows Best. And guess what father did? Father was an insurance agent. I live in Dallas. I happen to be in New York. We're out here with Patrick and David. And we were invited to a suite to uh, go to the Yankees game, but it was rained out. But instead, we went bowling, and believe it or not, we ran into President Bill Clinton at a bowling alley. But nonetheless, we came to the Jets game the next day, which is today's Sunday. And we're here enjoying this game, and we're looking around and seeing how many people overlook the insurance industry as a career, as a business. Because when you look at the insurance business, think about this. It's not a products that you got to create and develop or acquire, store or inventory. It's a money business. It's a digital product. If you look at the portability of whether or not you can do this business on the East Coast or West Coast or on vacation, you can do the insurance business. And whether or not your spouse can do this or you can do this full-time, part-time, you can do this business. That's how I started. Got out the Marine Corps, started this business on a part-time basis and started making make the same amount of money part-time as I did full-time in the Marine Corps. And let me make a long story short, this became my transition career on a 100% basis and as many other people that we've recruited and trained and developed over the years too as well. But here's a reality too as well. What we do in the insurance business, insurance industry, it's a needs business. I mean, people have a need and whether you have college needs, planning for your kids, you have to have retirement needs for yourself, parents. Uh, and by the way, life insurance isn't just for dying. It's for living. We actually we were just driving by a nursing facility, a senior care facility right here in New York. It is a high rise. And one of my guys in the back seat, he Googled it right away. How much does it run to us? Starting at 11000 a month. He Googled it. Googled it. <laughs> 11000 a month to stay in that senior living center. If you're retired, you want to retire with dignity and have help around you, 11000 a month to stay at the facility. So that's the 
unspoken expense that a lot of people don't even plan for in retirement. They think, I have got millions of dollars in the bank. I'm, I should be good. I spend less money in my retirement than I did when I was working. Not necessarily the case. Actually, you spend more in retirement than you do when you're working because you account for now medical expenses and quality of care and health care expenses that you didn't care for or plan for before. So if you're looking for an industry that helps you make millions of dollars, you potentially, if you're willing to do the work, uh, there's a lot of heavy lifting and skills you got to develop. If you want to do the hard work and be able to relate with people and love people and serve people and educate people, then the insurance industry might be the industry for you to consider. As I sit here at MetLife Stadium, when two NFL teams, the Giants and the Jets, play in MetLife Stadium in the insurance industry, but I'm from Chicago, which are the biggest buildings in downtown Chicago, are from are name branded from the insurance industry. You look at an Aon building, you look at the Willis Tower, you look at uh, John Hancock, you look at CNA building, you look at the Aon There's so many buildings in the insurance industry that's named, that Chicago Bills are named after. And if you look at many cities in America, they're name branded, even stadiums. Uh, I'm thinking about where I'm from in Dallas, Globe Life Stadium, Philadelphia Eagles playoff, Lincoln Financial Group, and on and on and on and on. So many sports teams, stadiums, are sponsored by the insurance industry. So again, if you're looking for a career or that you're looking for in tough times, it's going to increase, not decrease, but increase. Don't give up real estate. Don't give up mortgages. Don't give up tax. Don't do that at all. Keep it. Keep your foot in the door there, but be able to transition and put a foot in the door and add complementary services that keep you in front of your clients and increasing your value to the marketplace. Help you increase your cash flow in between closings or in between customers or in between tax season. So that being said, if you're looking for conversation information, Google it. Go search around. I'll put some links here to below for your research the insurance industry. And here's the thing too as well. When Mass Mutual bought MetLife to the back in 2006 to 2007, we were just talking about how old this, is the average insurance agent, bro? We're all right now 61 years old. They don't look like us. <laughs> Younger. Well, I mean, I'm, I'm 49 years old and you are? 37. 37. We got a uh, Christian. How, how old are you, bro? 37. He's 30, 30, 37 years old. And uh, how much how much money did you sell your property and cows to do business for? Multiple seven figures. Multiple seven figures to get involved in the insurance business out of Corona, California. So, guys, if you're looking for a business where you can make millions of dollars, have freedom, flexibility, autonomy, and not being ran by your business, but you running your business, hit the link below. We might have a conversation for you to process. And uh, with that being said, guys, I appreciate you watching the Seven Fear Squad YouTube channel. Please subscribe for more conversations about how to think like a millionaire, strategize like a millionaire, and for one day for you, so, some good suit to be a first generation cash flow millionaire. That being said, from New York here at BetLife Stadium, watch New York Jets versus Patriots play. Till we meet again. Continue to smart, continue to love smart. Be money smart today. Bye bye. <laughs>